bases out there. Um, uh, Seattle, it's interesting to be in Seattle because, uh, believe it or not, I haven't been in this town for quite a, quite some time, but the last time I was here, it was the launch, press launch for the 2004 TL that I worked on with my team. And uh, it's interesting, every time I'm in this town, we we'll launch is something cool. So uh, anyways, it's good to be back here. Um, I want to talk about the MDX today and this hybrid and uh, some of the uh, things that we've been doing uh, with our brand. Now, Acura, you know, we, we're really trying to refocus ourselves in here. There's no, there's no doubt in that. Uh, I've talked about this with some of you already. But uh, we relaunched ourselves as Precision Craft and Performance. Uh, this is where we come from. This is the company back in 89 when I joined the company. Uh, it's uh, as a 23-year-old uh, coming out of our center. Was what really fascinated me. Fascinated. I was supposed to go to a big OEM company out uh, in Detroit, but uh, the NSX back then, the Integras and the Legends that people still talk about now, um, <clears throat> just couldn't uh, get enough of that. So I ended up uh, moving to Japan and uh, worked out in Japan for the first six years of my career to see what these people were about. And uh, let me tell you, um, the passion that these people brought, uh, the youthful energy, uh, they were all 30-somethings, the guys that were in the program back then. They were my mentors. Uh, they seemed old to me, you know, but they were 30-somethings, but I was 23 at the time, so. But uh, the energy and the confidence that these people had to create those things that they call precision craft performance is something that I hold dear, and that's what we're trying to get back to. And uh, obviously, to do that, uh, we've launched the NSX, and NSX has continued to grow, and uh, we're already uh, nearly, uh, Cleared 400 NSXs out there now on the road. So we'll continue to expand to build on the NSX and its halo and its performance uniqueness, if you will. Uh, you're gonna, we, we already taught, touched on it today. Uh, you know, some of the unique features and performance that we bring in that car, you'll, you'll feel it in the NDX. But uh, it's critical for us because it's up their game all the way around. I mean, uh, Matt talked about it in terms of uh, uh, R&D. Performance, but I think as a brand, as a whole, having a car like that uh, brings a whole new attitude to the team, whether we're PR or advertising or uh, R&D in general, everywhere. You know, when you have a car like that uh, as a uh, North Star, our behavior changes. It. So we're excited about that. Um, racing. All right, so when we talk about precision craft performance, uh, you've got to say that you're a performance division of Honda, and that's what Acura is. Uh, we have to bring a supercar to the scene. So we invested heavily in the NSX, but right away, you know, you don't want to be a bulger, you gotta go racing. So that's something that we really hold dear to our heart. Uh, definitely was there when I was there, back in Japan, back in the days. Racing is something that we need to be doing. And so we're really excited that NSX is out there. Uh, we were at Daytona, uh, we are out there with the uh, Pirelli uh, Cup also. And right out of the box, we were really happy. And Miguel was there with us at Daytona. But uh, yeah, we did really well um, right out of the box. And uh, we continue to do so with, uh, uh, as we race uh, and uh, go forward to uh, establishing ourselves, re establishing ourselves as a performance man. So I'm really excited about it because I'm a car guy at heart. I uh, can't imagine a car pumping out races. So just a little bit of the. This video has here. been anticipated for years. The temperature dial in GTD has been turned to hot, fast, and extremely fun. 27 cars, 9 manufacturers, including new powerhouse entries from Acura, Lexus, and Mercedes AMG. That's going to be a fierce battle all year. 55 cars come to the line for the start of the 55th annual Rolex 24. We are green. Mike Shank Racing running the new Acura NSX GT3 and showing great speed. And as we said, in GT3, Today. Look at a big pack of those cars there, Acura, very much in the mix. What a testimony to the development of the NSX that they're leading. Some of these tried and proven GTD machines on debut. We're so excited to be back racing at Acura. We're about performance. If we're going to be about performance, we've got to go racing. If we're going to race, we've got to have a supercar. We have a brand new NSX. You know, we've got both cars in the top 10 right now. We know the enormity 
the challenge. We're just really excited that we're participating this year in this race, and we're all behind this race. This after a brand new program, and for them to be where they are, it is just remarkable. I, I'm so happy with everything right now. Yes, yeah, XT. I've done a great job. Can't say enough about all the people that work on this effort. It's uh, beyond where I thought we'd be. All right, um, really excited, obviously. Uh, when I was doing that interview, I had no idea what the guy asked me. Because uh, <laughs> it was so, uh, the cards were buzzing, but I had no idea. He might have asked, you know, uh, how, how, how are you feeling right now? But uh, it just went, it just went over the deep end because uh, it just is a very exciting thing to be involved in. And Anki is very proud to be there. Uh, yeah, right out of the box, we led the 171 laps of that uh, race, and we did. We are leading right now the first leg of the North American Endurance Cup Championship. So, yeah, we're proud about that. Now, besides uh, racing, um, what I hold dear, performance, styling is another. That's something that uh, where I come from. Um, uh, you know, it's we 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 showed this car precision uh, uh, concept. Uh, last year, and uh, this is our future direction from a styling perspective. It's a lot more performance and edgy, and uh, we know it's functioning well because uh, how it's translated into all of our future products is uh, very, very important to us. And the first one to get that facelift was the MDX that you're seeing right now. We, we know that it's an MMC, but we also know the kind of impact a, a design, strong design direction to have. Uh, it's completely reinvigorated the MDX into more of a performance image uh, vehicle, and we're really proud about that. And uh, we'll continue to focus on uh, pushing all of other projects and products that way. Uh, new marketing direction. This is something that's been really interesting for me. I'm going to be, you know, I'll, I'll speak on behalf of the R&D guys I used to work with in the back over there. There will be times when we would uh, spend years making a car thinking in our mind, this is what it is, right guys, this is a really, really cool car we're making. And then that first commercial runs and it's like, really? Is that how you're gonna do it with my kid like that? You know? And finally, I'm in a position where I can control some of the marketing, if you will. And so hopefully the guys back at home in Ohio are enjoying what we're trying to do with our marketing. Uh, but uh, it's that same energy that I talked about that we saw, uh, or I felt, uh, within the walls back in the 80s. That's what we're trying to reinvigorate in the market. Right? It's that, that youthful optimism, bring some energy and vitality back, some uh, color back into it, because that's who we are. And try to be honest about who we are and share ourselves the way we are instead of you know, what's everybody else doing. So that's something that uh, we're, uh, we're doing. And uh, believe it or not, uh, we're gaining uh, great brand awareness with it and purchase considerations continue to grow. So we know we're on to something, and uh, we're gonna to continue to push that direction. So with that, I'm gonna run the MDX uh, commercial just to give you a, a reminder of how we launched this MDX. Okay, so I don't know if you caught that, but in there we have some cameo appearances with the NSX. And uh, you're going to continue to see that throughout all of our advertising because that is our Halo car and uh, that's what we live up to. So it's some fun that we're having with our marketing. As also, as cool as that commercial is, that's how we sell or try to appeal to uh, family. It's the number one family vehicle, and that's how we're going to sell it. Uh, it's not about puppies and things in the third round so much and groceries and all that. Uh, this is how we appeal to our, uh, our, our consumers, potential customers out there. You know, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. And uh, you're going to see some of this. Uh, so we, we, we run this commercial, and I, I just have to show you this because it was just too cute. Um, <laughs> Uh, we ran this commercial and instantly we got somebody, uh, Kendra Barbosa, uh, has, uh, hit us up on Twitter. And I have to show you this because it's just too fun. Mm -hmm. 
talking about here is that Kendra's a mom and uh, she's a millennial and uh, she she just loves it because uh, when a commercial comes on her baby starts dancing and uh, we're making some connection there uh, with cool moms. Um, the RDX and MDX are two of the top three luxury SUVs sold to under 35 year olds and we're going to continue to focus on that uh, millennial trend. We're going to focus on uh, making sure that our youthful ideas and things are resonating with the right group of people. And of course, uh, SUVs are very, very critical right now. We know the big shift. I've gotten, uh, I'm a big sedan guy at heart, but uh, you know, the market shifted that way. But we are strong in the MDX and RDX. The MDX is the best selling three row luxury SUV of all time. And we continue to sell 50,000 plus for the past five years. Um, and the RDX also, you know, is, is a good uh, partner uh, for the uh, MDX in our SUV world. Uh, nearly 5% uh, for the year we're, we're up, and we just posted our best all-time record for February, for the month of February. We all know February is a slow month, but uh, even on its uh, last year, the RDX, uh, we continue to do well with that vehicle. So we'll continue to take that one-two punch that we have, and then uh, uh, we hope to uh, more and more customers in that role. <coughs> so today, MDX, uh, Sport Hybrid, what could I say, it's uh, 321 horsepower, it's plus 31, as it says right there, uh, and yet it is efficient uh, by 45%. It's got 26 miles per gallon in the city, so there's a lot and lots of uh, good balance is uh, happening here, smart things happening here. And I think today I'm not going to get too much into the details of that because Todd and the other members of the team will be more and more, more qualified to tell you all the details on that. But what I would like to say about this is that this completes our, our brand halo, if you will. So the top of the line uh, SUV, the top of the line uh, sedan, and our halo uh, sports car are all uh, rooted in the sports hybrid uh, system. Uh, this is our unique way to express the performance, and uh, uh, I think uh, it says a lot about our innovative ideas that we bring with this brand. And uh, it also is our incremental for MDX is very crucial because uh, we didn't have uh, a hybrid SUV up until now, and now we're introducing this vehicle to do that. 